Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to teach you how to install an emulator on your Apple TV fourth generation. Before we get started, there are a couple things you will need. First of all, a Mac computer, an Apple TV fourth generation, a USB type C cable, and you're going to need to download Xcode 7.1 from the Mac App Store. If you're watching this video a couple months from now, then whatever the newest version of Xcode is, that's what you will need. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Head over to the website in the description that looks just like this. Go over here where it says HTTPS and click copy to clipboard. Next, you wanna go ahead and open Xcode. And you're gonna first go to click on Xcode on the top bar, click preferences, make sure you're on the accounts tab and then hit the plus sign and type in your Apple ID information. Once you are done, it will show up just like these right here, which will be blurred out so you guys don't see it. After that, you're gonna exit out of that screen and click on source control, click checkout, and you're gonna paste in that URL here. You're gonna hit next, select master, next, and then it's gonna ask you where you want to save it and all that good stuff, so just follow through until it's done. I already have this, so I'm just gonna go over to Xcode and open it up. You're gonna get a page similar to this one. At the top is gonna be compiling stuff, loading index, and all that stuff. The first thing you wanna do on this screen is select provenance, switch to provenance TV release, connect your Apple TV using the USB type C cable, and then just click on your device. So make sure again, it says provenance TV release and you have selected your Apple TV. It may do some stuff over here, processing and whatnot. Just let that run through until it says ready somewhere around here, I forget where it was. But before we continue, you want to click on provenance TV. If you don't get this uh, bar here, just click on this right here. And then you get this sidebar, click on Provenance TV. You want to go over to Bundle Identifier and type something different. For example, I usually type my name in there. Make sure under Team, you select your Apple ID and then select Fix Issue. After that, make sure it says Ready somewhere around here on this bar. And if it says Ready, you can go ahead and click the Play button over here and it will start to build the app. Once it says running provenance on Apple TV, you can go over to your Apple TV and it will be running just like that. At this point, you can unplug the USB cable, which will kick you out of the app on your Apple TV. But you can always reopen it just like that. You are now done with Xcode, so you can close out of that. And now you're gonna need some ROMs. So on your Apple TV, you're gonna click import ROMs and type the address on your computer. You're gonna get an interface like this. You have to go to ROMs, upload files, and here you just have to search for your ROMs. I'm not gonna tell you guys where to download the ROMs from, but you can do a quick Google search and find some. So to upload them, you just select the one you want to upload. You can select a few at a time if you want to. Select open, and they're gonna be uploaded to the Apple TV. At this point, you can close out. Select stop on your Apple TV. And there you have your ROMs. I recommend using a game controller for this because it's difficult to play with the Siri remote, but that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it for this video. If you liked it, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll see you guys in the next one.